Hello from paradise. We are here in Panama at the beautiful Tropic Star Lodge and this place is nothing short of incredible. We have had the best time ever from the fishing to the food to the lodge to just the people that are here. It is the best place you will ever come to. I want to give a big thank you to Big Adventure for sponsoring this trip as well as Saltwater Sportsman for setting it up. Let's jump on a boat, head out fishing, wish us luck. I will see you guys out there. Good morning, it is day two of fishing here. We are walking down the dock, heading to the boat. I'm very excited. Today's mission is to hopefully catch a Kubera snapper. Fingers crossed for us, that is my bucket list fish. Let's get on the boat and let's go fishing. and sunny so hopefully we don't have any rain today but I am excited to see what the day has to hold. Let's get to fishing. Captain saw some bonita on the surface so we're gonna put out some little lures to try to catch some bonita for some live bait so today we can be casting, popping as well as have some live bonitas out and have a little bit of everything. So this is what we've been using part of the day either bonita, goggle eyes, or blue runners. Been bridling them through the nose. We are slow trolling some goggle eyes. Now someone picked this one up and then dropped it. I don't know if it's gonna come back for it or if I'll have to reel it in. Should I bring it in? That's what's left of that goggle eye. Not sure what it was, but it didn't come back for the other half. All right, so put out a fresh goggle eye after we lost that last fish, and we got something else on. Not sure what it's gonna be yet. It's a little small, but it's gonna be the first fish of the day. That's a big one, bro. Is it an omaka or a greater? Oh, it's a big omaka. That's a giant omaka. Huge omaka. Really? Big omaka, bro. Oh my god, my back hurts. <laughs> Let's 
see if I can pick this bad boy up. There we go, hands down, my largest Omaco Jack I've ever caught. They make them size XL over here. This is a big boy. Back at home, we catch little tiny Omaco Jacks in the CV when we're like dolphin fishing. We don't get big reef donkeys like this back home. But Omacos have this high, broad body compared to a greater amberjack. They're a lot taller and they got that big dorsal fin up top there. Kind of how you can tell the difference between a greater amberjack and an Omaco jack. These are absolutely delicious. So we are harvesting this fish. We have moved spots. We got the baits back out and Dario is cleaning up my big Omaco jack. What's really interesting is he is skinning off the top layer of scales but leaving a thin layer of the skin still on there. It's, I've never seen anyone do this before. Check it out. But he's just getting that very top layer of scales. He cuts a little, almost like a handle for his hand to make it easy to pull that loin up. He basically separated it into two separate loins and then the bottom loin included that collar. He's also going to keep the head as well as that entire carcass. You can make fish head soup with the carcass as well as the head. It's mind blowing how much meat is left on a carcass after you take off all your fillets. So every single part of the fish gets used. All day we've been doing the same thing, just continuously casting towards different kinds of rock structures, whether it's sticking out of the water like this one, or if we're casting towards just land. And we've also just been trolling our baits in the back. We're at about only an hour left of fishing. So we're in the final countdown, hoping to get a last fish of the day. So Tropic Star has like 20, seven boats or something like that and I think about nine went out today as well as yesterday and the report has been very slow for the inshore fishing. Yesterday we got on the tunas which was pretty epic but we wanted to spend some more time trying to get some good inshore fish. So hopefully we'll get a buzzer beater fish here. That would be really nice to end the day with another fish on the board. Fish on! Fish on! A rooster? Maybe. <laughs> there. It feels like a rooster. What a rooster. Woo! Our buzzer beater fish is a rooster. The boys had some rooster fish haul in their poppers, and then we just had one eat the live bait. take a rooster fish as my last fish of the day, any day. Being a little chaotic with 
gets its head shaked. We're already at the leader. A snapper? Rock, Rock snapper? things coming out it's a gorgeous looking fish though beautiful colors and this guy is thick he has been eating some good meals lately very very cool fish beautiful a nice awesome fight gorgeous fish adios rock snapper continue living a good life Woo! there he goes Back down to the bottom to eat some more blue runners. All right. We're on again. All of a sudden, fish decided that they wanted to get hungry. Got something else. We'll see what it is. It's kind of overkill for some of these fish fishing this big rod, but you gotta be ready for that Kubera, so you always wanna be prepared. So, catching these smaller fish on some big gear. That's okay. African pompano, it's pompano. shiny. Another pompano. Here we go, another beautiful African pompano. Those beautiful long tracers again. Just gorgeous fish. So these guys have beautiful, beautiful white meat and they taste absolutely delicious. You can eat them like sashimi, delectable. So he's coming home with us. So iridescent. You can almost tell immediately when you see these guys flashing in the water that it's an African pompano when they shine that beautiful chrome. We are the champions. No time. We're a loser. We are the Fish going up. Unfortunately, they don't have a sneaker snapper flag. <laughs> At three o'clock every single day, lines come out of the water and all the boats come back to the dock at the same time. This is what it looks like every single morning, except for I may be a little late to the dock every morning, so I don't get to see all the boats here first thing in the morning. But you get to walk around and see what everyone caught during the day. They fly some flags of what they caught during the day, so it's really cool. It looks like seven boats went out today, unless there's some people that are still out there. Some guys got some tuna today. Um, I do see one Kubera snapper flag flying. Rooster fish, African pompano. So everyone caught some fish today, pretty cool. Thank you. See you tomorrow. We'll see you tomorrow. Holy moly, that thing's ginormous! Oh my gosh. We're back at the dock and these guys are flaying up all the fish from the day. And they have a pet rooster fish down here as well as a Kubera snapper. And this rooster fish is ginormous. The Kubera snapper is pretty big too, but it's so cool to see. It's so funny that you fish all day, then you come back to the dock, and then the pets are what you've been trying to catch all day, and they're just huge. Do you see that thing? Ginormous. There's the Kubera too. Look at that thing. Wow. Wow. Rex, is it okay if I go on the boat? Oh. <laughs> That's a Kubera. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's a big Kubera.
After this fun day of fishing, we headed back to the lodge and got to enjoy some mango coladas in this beautiful pool that's literally in the middle of the jungle. Cheers! Cheers. Life does not get better than this right here. Mango coladas in the pool for a hot day of fishing. Good. Mm -hmm. Delicious. Muchas gracias. We enjoyed a delicious dinner with the whole saltwater sportsman group and rested up for another great day on the water. There we go guys, another day on the water. Let's have some fun. <laughs> I'm late <laughs> again. <laughs> I'm always a little bit late to the boat. That's okay. Dennis is 
having a time of his life, eh? <laughs> So Dennis jumped in with um, his camera, his underwater camera, to get some awesome shots. He's not going to touch them or do anything like that, and he's still feeding. I believe that's what he's doing. He's feeding, isn't he? When he has his mouth on the surface like that, he's just like feeding, and it's incredible that such a giant animal like that eats just like a filter feeder. He's not eating, you know, baits and things like that. He's eating little tiny things you can't even see in the water. Yep, they're gentle giants. Not every day you get to swim with a whale shark, huh? Incredible. Congratulations. That was a little kick on the bucket list for sure. All right. Well, Dario was casting again, hooked up, painted me the rod. Don't know what it is exactly yet. Oh, a rock snapper. A big boy. Our day ended with a lot of baits getting hit, but no luck hooking the fish. We could dream they were Kubera snapper, but we'll never really know. Maybe one day we'll come back and hopefully I'll finally get my bucket list Kubera snapper. We headed back to the dock where we met up with the other creators that Saltwater Sportsman sent on this trip. We were all split up on three different boats and some even went out fishing on kayaks. There will be a link in the video description to check out the other creators videos from the Saltwater Sportsman adventure. All right, guys, I caught my first sailfish today, a big 100-pound sailfish. So as the sign says, first billfish, you have to walk the plank. So here we go. You guys ready? Wait, 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 wait. We, we need to get the captain. The captain needs to go. Oh, he's ball. long gone. Oh. Yeah. You can push him, and you're oh. the captain now. All right, I'm yeah. the captain. All right. All right. Right, hold on. <laughs> ready? One, two, oh! <laughs> Oh, I feel good. Nice clip. Dude, I caught more fish. I caught almost fish almost every cast. Tons of snapper, really? tons of jacks, tons like all kinds of yeah, weird elephants. little reef rock fish, some kind of blenny looking thing. But the best was the uh, about a 25 pound Kubera. Caught it on a little four and a half inch zoom fluke, a half ounce jig head, 20 pound test line. You should see the rod. The rod is like a crappie rod. <laughs> It was pretty fun. That's awesome. Yeah, good day. Elias too, right? Yeah, one Kubera for me. I think like eight, nine snapper species, all between five and 15 pounds. Just all, every cast with like at four to five inch zoom flukes and diesel minnows and a bunch of jack valves. Had yellowfin tuna blown up at the kayak. It was 
non-stop just all little casting and a lot of fun today. Uh, I decided to lose every good fish today. <laughs> We, that, how's that 20, different from any other day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty pound Corvina next to the boat, swiped out of the gaff twice. Dang! And then it tail walked and threw the jig. Phil caught his first sail. That's why he just jumped in the water. Then we moved on. We caught a bunch of little rooster fish. Ended up catching a big, like 25 pound rooster fish, all on bait. I got to catch a bigger rooster, like 25 pounds on bait. And then you finished out the day with the fish of the day, like 25, 30 pound Cubera on bait, just an absolute stud he fish. The fish that we've all been looking for that I've came to Central America for three times, <laughs> still haven't found, but Phil found it on his first attempt. I just so. got lucky, guys. <laughs> trolling, not on the lure, so yeah. lucky man. Yeah, it's a great day. Fun out here in Tropic Star Lodge. Cheers to our last day in Panama, to an epic trip. Lots of fish and lots of fun. Cheers. All right, guys, we are in the kitchen at Tropic Star with the head chef, Gabriel. And every single morning at breakfast, we get a little menu that says, for dinner tonight, what would you like to have? And everything always looks absolutely delicious, but I had to choose one item. And I chose the Mongolian beef for dinner tonight because I knew Victor was choosing the yellowfin tuna, so I knew he'd give me a taste of his. But today, as an appetizer, when we got home from fishing, we had smoked tuna fish dip, and it was delicious. Yesterday, we had like a crispy rice with like a tuna, like a tuna tartare, like a spicy tuna tartare on top of it. Absolutely delicious. And then he said the catch of the day today is African papano and omelette jack. And I caught both of those today. <laughs> so really awesome. He's gonna show you guys a little bit of the behind the scenes for dinner tonight. So thank you so much and I hope you guys enjoy. like this are possible is because of you watching right now. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for watching, commenting, sharing, and just supporting me. I truly appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed this video. It sure was a trip I will never forget. Also, if you haven't seen part one yet, with all the tuna fishing action, I will have that linked in the video description.